Hello friends, in this video we will solve this problem between two sets in C programming language. You will be given two array of integers and asked to determine all integers that satisfies the following conditions. The elements of first array are all factors of integers being considered and L integers being considered is a factor of all elements of second array. So the first array is A and second array is B. So the two numbers satisfying these two conditions here are 6 and 12 as the elements in first array is a factor of 6 and 12 as you can see they have explained here and 6 and 12 are factor of elements in second array that is 24 and 36 so we have to find such elements between these two sets of elements which satisfies these two conditions so the integers satisfying these two conditions are always less than the first element of the second array so we will use this information to complete our function so the function is here so we will take count variable to count the number of such variables which satisfies these conditions as we have to return the total number which satisfies these conditions after that we will run a for loop we will consider a divisor a equal to 1 and divisor is less than equal to p of 0 and then divisor plus plus so we will take a flag that is a check variable starting from 0 and another check variable also starting from 0 to see if any number is satisfying all the two conditions for all the elements in array A and array B so after that we will run a loop from int i equal to 0 i less than a count and i plus plus so the elements in array A should be factor of the integers to be considered so we have to check the condition if divisor mod a of i equal to equal to 0 so this checks if all the elements of a are the factor of number to be considered that is divisor so if any element satisfies this condition then we will increment the check count so this will check the conditions for array a so for array b we will take another for loop starting from i equal to 0 i less than b count and then i plus plus so in this we have to check if that element is a factor of elements in array b so b of i mod divisor equal to equal to 0 and we have to check if all the elements satisfies this condition then we will increment the check count check to count so this will check the condition for array b so after that we have to check if check 1 equal to equal to
a count and check to equal to equal to b count then we have to increment the count plus plus so this condition should be in a for loop because check one and check two are local variables so after completion of this loops we have to just return our count so this will complete our function we will run our code so first two test cases are passed we will submit our code so all the test cases have passed so if you want more videos on hackerank solutions please subscribe to my channel and you can watch my hackerank playlist for more solutions thank you for watching